Oh, what's up guys? Um, today is Thursday the 13th, I think, yeah. So tomorrow morning when I get off, I'm gonna start the turbo removal. Um, today, after I go to sleep and wake up, I'm gonna go grab, I, just, I need like shop rags, I need a brake cleaner, I need an O2 sensor tool, um, a couple other random things in prep for tomorrow. I got my neighbor, he brought me his ramps and a little uh, lay down and slidey boy, I forget what it's called right now. Don't mind me, I've been up for quite some time. Uh, but it's seven in the morning, I just got home not too long ago. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna throw in um, all this, the boost hoses and everything. This is from the turbo to the intercooler. I wanna knock this out, get fitment um, on, make sure everything works. I don't know, I wanna, what I wouldn't, another thing I wanna see is the difference between the EQT turbo muffler and the racing line turbo muffler. Uh, I'd like to keep the racing line, if they're like, very very similar and like the uh what's it, the measurement of this outlet is the same on both and i'll just sell this one with the old uh turbo and keep my racing line because i have so many racing line parts i'd like i like to keep things con consistent but uh we'll find out that here in a minute but i'm gonna go jack the car up pull the intake off pull the old shit off uh cut a couple zip ties and we'll see how the the eqt piping fits I figured I could knock this out now. It would save me like an hour or so uh, when I go to do the uh, turbo stuff tomorrow. And it gives me some content. This video will be out for you guys. Obviously, you're watching it on Monday. Hopefully, by now, the turbo's in and I've already started tuning. Uh, I have pretty much all of Friday dedicated to uh, getting this done. And then Saturday, there's a car show on base. I've gone to like every year since I've been here. So I'm going to hit that up. And other than that, like, it's just tuning until uh, we can get on the dyno. Hopefully next weekend, I'm going to call them after the turbo's in and everything's running all right. Call them, set up a dyno appointment um, so we can fine-tune the dyno. Or fine-tune the tune on the dyno so we can actually, you know, see the graph and shit. But, um, yeah, let's just get started. Oh, yeah, another thing. I apologize. Um... For not putting out much content lately, uh, ever since this breakup, I've been pretty down, depressed. It's been hard to, for me to do much of anything. Like this event in Albuquerque last weekend, like I was in my whole environment. It was nothing but beautiful women wearing, you know, barely nothing because it was hot out and just, you know, the racing and having beer and my friends. And I was still like, eh. It's been rough. It's been rough trying to record. It's been rough trying to just do anything in life, really. Um, but I think um, I'm getting better. I'm doing better. I just want to like work on my car, do me, not lay in bed all day. Uh, working night shift doesn't help. I don't really see the sun much. I don't get out much. It's, it's weird. But um, i trying to get myself out of this funk. I'm trying to get back to making at least two videos a week. Uh, make myself feel a little bit better, give me a reason to get out of bed, you know. But, uh, well, for anyone new here, this, the CQT has been, we've been waiting on this for like three months to go in, probably almost close to four months. Um, my goal is to make like 450, but even if it doesn't make 450, I'll be happy. Anything in the 400s, great, whatever. I'm really only upgrading turbos to, um, get it off my, because I've already blown one IS-38. So I wanted, you know, a good, reliable, turbo with a warranty good customer service in case something does happen god forbid hopefully it fucking doesn't but um main reason for upgrading turbos is just to have the reliability factor over the is 38 and being able to hold boost to redline that's um that's a big thing as well but and then uh the you know, main reason i went mpi or port injection with uh, precision raceworks was to get the valves clean i could have went this and just did the the low pressure pump, did a high pressure pump, and went with like Cobb or something. Well, now Cobb has MPI support out, but I wanted an MPI mostly to keep the valves clean. Uh, you know, direction injection, it's not, my valves looked terrible, and I'm, I'm so glad I did do it, uh, even though technically I don't really even need it at the moment. But uh, with that fueling and that pump and this turbo, I have the potential to make quite a bit of power. 
I'm not going to push it to its edge. Um, I would need map sensors. I would need a torque bike controller for the uh, fuel pump if I wanted to run like full E and do as much as I could. But I'm not doing that. The car needs to be reliable. I hit rev limiter all the time in autocross, so it just needs to be rock solid so I can beat the shit out of this car and have a good time. Uh, I hate having downtime, having things broken or waiting on parts so I can drive the car is like the worst thing ever. I, I live to drive. I live to race. But uh, anyway, enough about me ranting. This wine's hitting me, hitting me quick. <laughs> but uh, let's go get this in. All right, so we got half of it out. Um, this is where the old turbo muffler delete uh, connects. This is the EQT. You put them right on there. It is literally like the exact same size. So definitely going to be an upgrade there. I'm going to throw this on today. I guess the racing line one is going to go with the old turbo. As you can see here, this is the CTS one that I'll also be selling. Um, how that fits on there. And this is solid. And then you got this piece that will connect here and it goes down and you have this other one from there going to the to the intercooler but you can already see how big of an improvement this is this really uh bottlenecks down i'm gonna take this clamp off so i can show you but yeah it's gonna be a lot better airflow than this situation so you see here i pulled off this guy this is like i said turbo muffler delete then to this then to the piping how much that that bottleneck's down and this is how this is just gonna go i mean it is kind of I mean, it doesn't bottleneck really. It just goes from what it is to, to bigger. And it stays that same all the way through. So, nice. Very, very nice. Shout out to EQT. I didn't think it would be that big of a difference. Nice. So, uh, looking at the front of the bay here. That real nice. Hell yeah. Motor's a little dirty. But, um, down in here, and the camera probably... Eh, you can kind of barely see it down in there, but the turbo muffler delete is down there. It's just three bolts, real easy. Um, well, it's only real easy because of this ball headed Allen. I believe it's a five mil. Yeah, five mil ball head Allen makes this job super easy, along with uh, the blow off valve as well. Having these ball headed Allens make life super nice. So you can go in at like weird angles. But uh, yeah, we're about to take that out and we'll compare the two. Well, I really didn't want to get rid of my Racing Line Turbo Muffler Delete. It looks really cool. It's nice. This one looks a little bit different. just has like a single gasket like that. But, uh, yeah, wow. The size difference is huge. It's like two fingers and some, and that's like, I can fit three in there easily. You can't, can't fit three. She's a tight one. But yeah, and then you can see here on the, on the CTS pipe, much that goes down so the turbo muffler delete you know the racing line connected right in there and then the EQT goes straight into this one and as you can tell there's definitely gonna be some airflow gain here um, nice and that sucks I gotta get rid of it but I paid for it so I might as well use it right fuck it okay so we're looking at this groove here if you look real close there's a nice groove that's where the gasket goes and the gasket doesn't want to stay there unless it's lubed uh, and you don't want to pinch that gasket so make sure it's lubed make sure it stays in this groove while you're in installing the turbo muffler or you might create a boost leak maybe it's possible um, yeah just don't don't mess that up don't find out we're getting her in try and get them all finger tightened started before you really tighten them down my turbo is kind of dirty you see all that dirt Ugh. Cannot wait to get this thing out of here tomorrow. I don't even know why I'm going through all this effort, but should be worth it. All right, here we got the uh, second half of the pipes out. You can see I saw the old gross OEM hose. It's seen way better days. And you got this very nice new EQT silicone. It actually uh, came with two additional brackets one that goes to the block, this one. Um, like a wiring thing clips in and this one the CTS skipped both of those so uh, 
I'm thinking this is going to fit better with my intake actually because you see here I had this tape on it. Uh, this is all going to get taken off and cleaned but this is where it was rubbing my, my intake. Uh, this one I think will be pulled over more and uh, not hit my intake so that would be great for my intake to sit flat again. Um, it's been rubbing on this for quite some time. Alright, we got everything in. Uh, they didn't supply hardware so I had to like dig through my drawer and I found some ugly stuff. I'm gonna re replace that but she's all in. Uh, it's all dirty right now because I'm dirty and it's a very dusty environment but wipe that down with the, with the rag here in a moment but this is the top section and it fits so good. It's much better than the CTS and uh, where my intake was rubbing like this this whole pipe was like way further out. I should have Recorded a little bit about that before, but I don't think my intake is going to hit. My intake has like been kind of like sitting towards the top of these. Like it hasn't been really popping in. The intake kind of sits high. Um, yeah, so hopefully that fixes that. Peep the, the Diesel Geek stuff back in there. I got some O34 bushings and uh, OEM solid bracket. Shifter feels titties. Diesel Geek's a shit. And here's this. This is the intercooler side going around. And up, oh, sorry, I can't even really see the camera right now, but uh, you get the idea. That's pretty much all it is. Some nice T bolts that came with. Clenched that baby down real good. The other one on there was like super loose, so I wonder if I was losing boost uh, in there at all. It didn't seem like I had a boost leak at all, but I wonder. That thing is old, real old and fragile. Okay, you guys see that gap in there? You see my red tape? That was where my intake was rubbing on the CTS piping. I have so much more room between my intake and this pipe now. So now my intake doesn't sit kind of like flared up in the back. It sits nice now. It sits how, I mean it does kind of look like it does, but that's how it's designed. It used to be quite a bit higher. So it fits better now. And Braceline just came out with a uh, coolant reroute. I'm going to be ordering that very soon because I hate the way this looks and the APR one did not work for this intake so but I came out with one I am so so happy they finally did anyway everything fits real nice you can see the EQT down there um, I'm going to button this up and then go for a test drive I doubt I'm going to feel anything on the butt dyno but the car should definitely breathe a little bit better I'd imagine Fine. Well here we got everything back together. She's looking good. Ready for this turbo install tomorrow. Hope it goes smooth. Fingers crossed. We got some some more things to go grab today, like I said. Um But yeah, I got this all buttoned up. I'm gonna go wash my hands, clean up some tools here, and uh take her for a test drive. Then I'm gonna go to bed. I've been been up for a while, I'm tired, working on the car all morning, but uh yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I wish I had to, I guess maybe I do have the stock ones up there, but the stock ones versus the CTS was a was a pretty decent jump in size. And uh, then going from these to the EQT, it goes to show how much better that could have been. I got them used, I didn't pay, pay uh, full price for that, but um, yeah, I'm glad I got these, these EQT pipes. And you don't even have to buy the turbo to get these, you can just go to the website and just buy this pipe kit so if you're looking for an upgrade EQT well it's Monday morning just got home from work just did my uh, fifth data log for Frank over at Mabo Tech for the tune um, the cars feeling great really really good this turbo is amazing I'm holding like 30 pounds all the way to red line it is ridiculous the car is <laughs> is just stupid I cannot wait to show you guys all these videos. Um, come Friday, you'll have the turbo install video, and then uh, hopefully by Monday, you'll have some tuning videos. Uh, I'm hoping to get on the dyno this weekend. Um, the weekend after that's this big roll race event, so we'll be racing in that. Next weekend after that should be autocross. We got like a whole bunch of, there's like this local Dragon Main thing going on next week, so there'll be a bunch of videos with that stuff. Um, and just all types of things going on. But those boost pipes, uh, I couldn't really tell a big like horsepower difference on the butt dyno driving around. 
but it definitely seems like it smoothed things out. Like that bottleneck was pretty, pretty rough. Um, it ain't really all that bad, but it's definitely any little bit that you could get. And it was a, you know, a kit. I got the the turbo itself and the wastegate, um, brand new wastegate, and had that. Uh, what's it called? Set properly, and then I got the pipes and the turbo muffler delete. Um, it's all it's like a nice little package. So, uh, turbo, piping, muffler delete, and blow off valve, are all for sale. Like twelve hundred bucks. Let me know. It's sitting in the box. I still need to clean up the turbo. Everything else is cleaned up. Their inbox is ready to go. So if you want. Uh, an IS38 with a wastegate already on it, the boost pipes, blow off valve, turbo muffler delete. I'm, I don't want to separate them. So you got to buy the whole thing, anything you don't want, sell on your own. But um, hit me up, comments, or whatever. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for Friday. It's going to be a long video for the install, but um, nothing new there. Anyway, I'm going to bed. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.